Today we're exploring the captivating history of cloud computing, how it became the billion-dollar industry it is today. You won't believe how much the tech giants make from cloud services alone. Firstly, let's get back to the 1950s, the time of the mainframe computer, a time when computers were massive and expensive. The idea of sharing computing resources remotely was born. Now this would be revolutionary as computing power would cost millions of dollars to companies. So the idea of getting a mainframe for each employee was not feasible. As I said, it costs millions of dollars for computing power, so smaller businesses could not even afford to maintain one mainframe computer. Researchers envisioned a a world where computing power could be accessed like a utility. Users would rent the ability to perform large computations. This notion laid the foundation for what we now know as cloud computing. Fast forward to the 1960s and 70s was the advent of virtualization. The concept of dividing a physical server into multiple virtual machines came to life. This was brought to life through the work of Jim Remertzik in IBM. This breakthrough brought us one step closer to efficient resource utilization and flexibility in computing. In this same period, Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, also known as ARPANET, was developed by Joseph Carl Rubnet Licklider. This laid the foundations of the internet today. JCR's vision was to have a global computer network such that users could access programs and data from anywhere. As the 1990s dawned, the internet exploded onto the scene. This digital revolution provided the connectivity needed for cloud computing to flourish. In 1999, Salesforce pioneered the software as a service model. They developed the first ever software as a service solution, which was their customer relationship management platform. This turned out to be a great investment since the dot-com bust in 2001. The Great Recession, which came about nine years later, was also a big help, as it landed a significant hit on on-premises software. In its infancy, the software-as-a-service model was thought to be only for startups and small businesses. Just a fad, too closed, too slow, or unstable. But over the next several years, improvements to the internet that meant little to the traditional software industry did much for the software as a service model. In 2006 came the game changer, Amazon Web Services, which is also known as AWS. Amazon, which was at that time known as an e-commerce platform, made a move to provide cloud services through the infrastructure as a service model. This allowed users to rent virtualized hardware over the internet. Some of the services which were introduced were Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, Amazon Simple Storage Service, and Amazon Relational Database Service. AWS success inspired other tech giants like Microsoft and Google to jump into the cloud arena. In April 2008, Google announced a preview release of App Engine, a developer tool that allowed users to run their web applications on Google infrastructure. The goal of App Engine was to make it easy to get started with a new web app, and then make it easy to scale when that app reaches the point where it's receiving significant traffic and has millions of users. Later that same year, in October 2008, Microsoft got into the game with the birth of Windows Azure, which is today known as Microsoft Azure. Windows Azure was a cloud computing operating system which was targeted at business and developers without additional coding. It was a deliberate response in competition to the Amazon EC2 and Google App Engine. In 2022, AWS generated a revenue of $80 billion. Microsoft Azure, on the other hand, generated about $34 billion in revenue, while Google Cloud Platform generated $26 billion. This makes them the top three companies in terms of revenue in the cloud market. The cloud market isn't just dominated by these big players, though. There's an array of smaller competitors like IBM Cloud, Oracle Cloud, and Alibaba Cloud, each contributing to the ever-evolving landscape. IBM Cloud, for instance, had a revenue of $22 billion in 2022, while Oracle Cloud and Alibaba Cloud had revenues of $5.9 billion and $11 billion, respectively. These figures show a remarkable journey from the earlier days. Cloud computing has transformed how businesses operate. Enterprises no longer need to invest heavily in hardware and infrastructure. They can scale resources up or down according to demand, making operations more cost-effective and efficient. Over the years, cloud services have evolved. 
we've witnessed the rise of platform as a service, enabling developers to focus on coding without worrying about the underlying infrastructure. And then came function as a service, ushering in the era of serverless computing. Today, cloud computing has become an integral part of our digital lives. It powers everything from streaming services to e-commerce platforms and even AI-driven applications. As technology advances, the cloud's role will continue to expand, reshaping industries and revolutionizing how we interact with technology. Reflecting on this journey, we're amazed by the strides cloud computing has made since its inception. What started as a visionary concept has transformed into a global phenomenon that underpins the modern digital landscape.